I was drinking my smoothie, right? And then God was like, you know when you drink a cold drink too fast and you get a brain freeze? And that's no one's fault but our own, right? We're the ones controlling how much we drink in a certain time. And it forces us to stop drinking because our brain hurts, right? But how often do you keep drinking it and then maybe you get another brain freeze? And it's not like I'm going to look at this drink and blame my brain freeze on the drink. I'm the one drinking it too fast. <laughs> and I feel like God was using this smoothie to communicate how so often we take something that God has given us. So God has provided the means for me to buy a smoothie, to nourish me, to taste good, whatever. And now it's up to me how I use it. Do I waste it and not really drink it? Or do I try and rush through it and move through something too quickly that maybe I'm supposed to be present in the moment and doing it in a certain time? Because also, drinking something too fast is not enjoying it really to its fullness. And I feel like so often we, we take things that maybe God has blessed us with. And because something wrong happens or we have hard times or we hit a roadblock, maybe because we're running through it too quickly, we blame God when we're the ones rushing through it. We're the ones trying to rush through something that maybe God's trying to use to prepare us. Or maybe you're someone that God has opened a door for you and maybe you don't see it as that and you're not taking advantage of it. Maybe you didn't drink your smoothie. <laughs> I think this is just a good reminder that God's timing is perfect. When he opens a door for us, there's no need to rush through it. And I think so often we think because the door is open, now all the pressure is on us to finish whatever that is. If God opens a door for us, he's going to be faithful to help us walk through it and to continue walking. Step by step, he will guide us. And if we need to stop, if we're rushing through it too quickly, aka brain freeze, then he will stop us. And instead of looking at things as like, oh, I'm behind or I'm backtracking, maybe you just need to work through something a little bit more to character build and get to a point where God's like, okay, now you're ready to move on. Moral of the story, God always tells you what you need to know. It's all about how we listen and pay attention to how he's speaking to us. So ask God today, Lord, help me to pay attention to when you're speaking. Help me to be quick to know when you're speaking. And help me to be patient enough to follow your timing so that I can be present enough to actually hear what you're saying. Okay? Happy Wednesday!